This is the second set of videos for section 7.1, your basic trigonometric identities. And in this part, which is part B, we're going to look at how to solve problems using trig identities, either by simplifying expressions or proving other identities. In this first example, you have two parts. I want you to simplify the expression using our identities from above. So go ahead, try to work these through on your own first if you can. If you not, don't worry about it. Just resume the video and follow along. All right, for this first one, we have sine, cosine, and tangent. So it's really important to remember that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. OK, what happens then is we can plug that in for tangent. We get cosine theta plus sine theta times sine theta over cosine theta. OK, we can now multiply the sine theta through, giving us cosine theta plus sine squared theta all over cosine theta. If you get to a sine squared theta, you're using a Pythagorean identity. So we need to now remember that sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. Okay, the other thing you want to look for is fractions. We want to give these like denominators. To do that, we're going to multiply the cosine theta by cosine theta over cosine theta. Thus, we get cosine squared theta over cosine theta plus sine squared theta over cosine theta. We have like denominators. We can add the numerators, getting cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta over cosine theta. We know from our Pythagorean identity that cosine squared plus sine squared is 1, so we get 1 over cosine theta. This is a reciprocal, so we need to remember that secant is 1 over cosine. Thus, our final answer is secant theta. OK, how about this next one? Again, try this on your own first if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Just follow along with the videos and make sure that the solution makes sense to you. All right, for this first one, We have sine, cosine, and cotangent. Oops, I wanted to highlight that. When we have both sine and cosine, and then cotangent or tangent, we really like to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. So we're going to remember that cotangent is equal to cosine over sine. We're going to substitute that in. So instead of writing cotangent, we're going to write cosine over sine plus sine 1 plus cosine. OK, again, we need to have like denominators. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this first fraction by 1 plus cosine over 1 plus cosine. And we're going to multiply the second fraction by sine over sine. This gives us, we distribute cosine plus cosine squared all over sine plus sine times cosine. Actually, I don't want to distribute. I'm going to leave the denominator broken apart. 